Welcome to Gummy Cave. I'm Bo. I'm Michael. And today our sponsors are Michael. I couldn't find anybody. How you gonna find no sponsors, man? I don't know. I tried my best. Please don't be mad at me. Man, I do all this hard work to have you edit all the films, have you record all the films, have you get the interviews set up, have you do all the artwork and you can't get any sponsors? What am I here for then? I don't know. I'm sorry. You know what? I quit this. I'm out. Later. Please don't leave me. Please. <laughs> So let's just be worthless. Let's do some worthless superheroes. Yes. Alright. Worthless superheroes. We got a list. Do you like to hear it? Here it goes. Thunder Bunny. First appeared in Carlton Comics in 1982. Billy Caswell was walking through the woods, stumbled upon an abandoned aircraft carrier or spaceship. One lone survivor, and since Bobby helped him, saved him, he granted him the power for the superior from their home planet, which was to turn into a giant rabbit. Oh, and time, time, time. <laughs> Whoa. 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 <laughs> <laughs> um, what year was this? 1982. And this is the year the comic book was made? Yes. Oh my gosh, someone was doing some cocaine. Yes. Wow. A pink rabbit too, mind you. No, I'm sorry, someone was doing acid. Yes. Wow, really? Mm -hmm. And this was legitimately made? Yes, Carlton Comics, which was later bought out by DC. And I think DC just like, no, no more of this crap. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that's what happened anyway. Oh my gosh. And that's worse than the original story to Black Lightning. Woo! Okay. Continue. Uh, yeah, he had his powers. He was super strong, and he was like a six and a half foot rabbit. Whatever. Well, I would hope for a six and a half foot rabbit, he'd be super strong. Yeah. Especially being pink, mm -hmm. uh, he probably got his butt kicked a lot. Look at the pink rabbit. <laughs> he had super speed. What the one his downfall was when he was fighting, he could only stay turned as the rabbit for a few minutes. He had to clap his hands and say some kind of nonsense command to turn back to a human. Because if he stayed too long as a rabbit, he would stay a rabbit and could never go back to being a human. Like I'm almost like a uh, Ultraman ripoff. Yes. And mm -hmm. Somewhere it's in some place the Japanese are really ticked off. Yes. Wow. Okay. Yep. Ultraman's a lot cooler than a Yeah, I love Ultraman. Even the yeah. 1960s Ultraman was yeah. better <laughs> than that. And it was horrible. Oh. Okay. Sure, I'm, I'm glad that DC had the foresight to get rid of that crap yes. and not produce any more. Woo! What do you got next on the list? The eye. Eye of the tiger? Just a big... Giant eye. Yeah. Kind of floating around. Living, breathing, crime fighting. Well, I say crime fighting, he just kind of told other people what to do because of the giant eye. He really can't do a whole lot. I don't know, how is an eye going to tell other people what to do? Well, it doesn't really make any sense since he don't have a mouth. Mouth, yeah. Speak, yeah. But he was put out in 1939, created by Frank Thomas with no origin story. He appeared in two episodes or two issues and just kind of disappeared. Never to be spoke of again. Okay. Yeah. Tad bit creepy. Tad bit strange. It is the 30s. 1939, so it was around the height of the uh, 
World War Two starting. Um, this is the same company that did Doll Man. But even then, that's kind of strange. Do you have like telepathic abilities, or do he? He could melt steel and melt metal, and a criminal around behind the wall. He could, I guess, look at the wall and the wall would dissolve, so the cops or whoever could go catch him. But he physically couldn't do anything to stop him. He could melt steel. He could melt their legs as they're walking, or melt the ground as they walked, and then froze it, and they would like be stuck there until the cops got there. Which would make more sense. Yeah, it would make, make a lot more make a lot sense. sense. I mean, blasted the freaking crane from Ninja Turtles was done yeah, more than know. that. I mean, it was just a brain stuck yeah. in some dude's stomach. Or a robot stomach, actually, but still. Yeah, what the. <sighs> nonsense. That is some non nonsense. I know we try to take liberties and be creative and do things that are cool. But man, some things should never be done. Just because you have an idea does not mean you should pursue it or do it. Greatest line in the movie, Jurassic Park. Just because you can doesn't mean you should. That's right. Exactly. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Anyway, if you have any ideas or have you seen any crappy superheroes, horrible, worthless superheroes, leave in the comments below. And always, share and subscribe. Thank you. We'll see you next time.